Here's Chief Meteorologist Gannon Medwick with your first alert forecast. Coming up on 614 on a Wednesday where we're watching the thermometer. What were you doing 10 years ago? Chances are you were cranking the AC, maybe taking a break with a cool drink. Those would be good strategies today as we at least get in the neighborhood of that record on the books. That's 92. I expect a lot of upper 80s and lower 90s on our Cape Fear map this afternoon. So let's hit the water. This is Jinx Creek Intracoastal Waterway, OIB, on your Bob King GMC First Alert Skycam Network Dry Skies. As we hop over to the Murkison Building view in downtown Wilmington, the sun is coming up now and it's ready to give some energy to already energized temperatures. 72 officially in the port city. That dew point snow slouch as well. That's in the upper 60s. We roll those metrics together. It could actually feel like it's deeper in the 90s today. So a little bit of a heat index adding insult to injury. And there'll be some energy for storms between today and tonight. And also tomorrow, our friends at the National Weather Service Storm Prediction Center broad brushing a level two or slight risk zone for severe weather, damaging winds, hail, what have you for that stretch. And then the front still not going to quite clear the coast on Friday, so still at least a marginal risk for severe weather. And the way you visualize these level two risks is it's almost like equal chances you personally experience severe weather, disruptive weather, or it could be a complete dud, especially if you miss the storms. There'll be different clusters tough to time, but we do historically get a lot of our percentage of severe weather annually from these level two and three risks. So uh, it's just about a dozen times a year we find ourselves in at least a, a level two. So we do want you to be alert. And when there's nothing on the radar right now, that's one piece of data. And then we have our future radar data to kind of help and see if we could time out some of this business of storms. So this is 3 p.m. today, arbitrarily, our start time. We have mostly, if not completely, dry skies in our corner of Carolina. And again, it is going to be hot. Uh, so with northwest flow and the approach of a cold front, some of these storms are going to be really tricky to time. But our model does bring a cluster or two through tonight and tomorrow. And then tomorrow afternoon, it suggests a gusty storm line from the low country to the Savannah Valley. We may be just bystanders to that, but just the same, it could nick us. And then look on Friday, still a little bit of energy to come through before we can say, OK, this front cleanly passes offshore and the air will feel a lot lighter and cleaner over Mother's Day weekend. Lower rain chances, lower humidity levels and a throw open the windows kind of situation with temperatures as low as the 50s for some of those nights and mornings. That includes Mother's Day Sunday. Compare that, Kim, to our 70 plus temperatures right now. This is going to be quite the change. Back to you.